In ORCAD PCB Designer 17.2 and 17.4, you get the Design Workflow window, and this helps you get through your PCB layout very smoothly. But if you have an older version of ORCAD 17.2, you may not have this window, and you may notice yourself scrambling to find the features you need from the menu. So like here, check, analyze, and all of these things. Well, no worries, because after watching this video, you'll be able to locate every feature you need to complete your printed circuit board design, even if you don't have the design workflow window. So, first of all, let's check to see if you actually do have the window. In ORCAD PCB Designer, you go to Display, Windows, and then you can check Design Workflow. If this is unchecked, you won't see it. Uh, so make sure you check that first. But let's say you still don't have the window, let's say you don't have the latest hotfix, then you can look at the different options here. So for design parameters under the setup, you would go to setup design parameters. So that gets you there. For the grids, how do you get to grids? You can go to setup and then choose grid setup so here's your grids that's the same thing you can go to setup and design parameters then choose setup grids same thing there's a third way to do that too you can right click quick utilities grids and so that solves that for your colors if you want to set your colors you can go to uh, your setup and then choose your colors option here so that looks good then for the board outline once we're done with setup and you want to do database preparation on the board outline and create, you can do it manual or automatically. So to get this option, like if you want to make a manual board outline, I'm going to click cancel. The same thing you can do here, outline design. And it's the same thing. Now it's unable to process, but that's, that's how you do that. Let's say you want to import a DXF file or a board outline that a CAD engineer drew in a different software, you go to import MCAD DXF. And so that's those options under import. Then the cross-sectional stack up, right? So if you click here and then you can create your stack up for the PCB, instead of doing that, you can go to setup. So this is all under setup, cross-section. Okay, and let's say you want to do a net list. You can also do a net list. The import and export are different options. So for import net list, you would do import net list and then export, you would choose your um, back annotation net list. So that's two different things. Then for placement manual, you would go to place components manually. For quick place, you choose quick place. For report, uh, this is actually different. That would be under exporting your reports, and then you can choose the placement report, place component report right there. Now, let's see. For the constraint modes, I won't go through all the constraint modes, but for modes like this right here, you can just go to your setup and then constraint modes, and that's the same thing. And all the other constraint options you would choose, like physical, you can go to setup constraints and navigate the menus accordingly but don't worry uh, because actually i created a cheat sheet this cheat sheet has everything i talk about here and more for the rest of the features that i didn't go through again you can find it the entire set of menu options in my cheat sheet if you would like that cheat sheet just click the link enter your email address and it will immediately land in your inbox along with some other nice items if you're not subscribed to my list already so now that you have the full list of features and know exactly where to find them in PCB Editor, you will never get stuck in completing your future PCB layouts.